Hello there. I bid you welcome, children of the night. You know, I've been doing a lot of thinking inside this coffin. Thinking it would be nice to have a coffin with shelves. You know, for storing my knickknacks and things. <laughs> so, let's make a humble effort to build a coffin with shelves. For this task, I will be using minimal tools I have lying around. And, to construct this project, I'm going to use cedar fence boards to keep the cost down. It should be a fun project that doesn't suck. <laughs> when getting started, I recommend you draw out your coffin so you can use it as a template. For this task, I have Mr. Leslie assisting me. Who, me, Master? Yes, you. It doesn't matter what size you want your coffin to be, but you must obey my command and draw out your center line first. Then, mark your total height. Next, mark your width at the top and bottom. Then you need the total width at the shoulder level. I desire the width within three wide fence boards. Connect all your marks from the outside edge. And then use a board to trace the inside edge of the coffin. This will give you all your angles to cut. Mark out all your shelf locations. Lastly, I will cut out my template. Now I am ready to start marking my boards to cut. But first, I must tell you. I had my assistant, Mr. Leslie, compare the difference between the fence board sizes at the hardware store. I chose the wider ones to give my coffin more shelf depth. This inexpensive tea bevel can help you transfer the correct angles to the wood. Adjust the saw base plate to match the angle on the tea bevel. After you cut one end of your board, hold it in place to get your next mark. Pre-drill for your finished nails to prevent your coffin from cracking. I'm using a 1 16th bite size. Uh, I mean bit size. It helps to have a small punch to drive the nails beneath the surface of the wood. Put your backboards into position, then lay the template down over them and trace around the outside. You can cut your wood over a scrap piece or secure it by hanging it over the edge like this. Adjust your blade depth a little more than the thickness of the wood. Be sure to use lots of glue. You can use a finger to spread it evenly. Once all your sideboards are secured together, flip over to attach your backboards. Aha! 
for the shelves I hold a board into place and then mark both sides to cut. You can use a speed square to ensure your shelves stay straight. Owie! Mm. I'm a very spooky guy. The kind that wants to bite your mother. <laughs> Where is that punch? <laughs> yeah! Be sure to sand all the sharp edges. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Hotel Transylvania. <laughs> oh, this looks exceptionally good. Now to have Mina. Ugh. I mean, Gina, paint the coffin, sealing it so it lives forever too. <laughs> For this task, I am using steel wool and vinegar solution. You can see the how-to video right here. I'd like to sink my brush into that. <laughs> Ah, the finished product. It stands up pretty good on its own, but you could always build a base plate or attach it to your dungeon wall. So, now that you have learned what you have learned, you too can have a coffin decor fit for a count. Thanks for watching! And now... I command you to click like and subscribe.